Hello everyone, welcome to another video lecture on the chapter The Solid State. In this video, we will learn about the close packing of solids. In order to understand the packing of the constituent particles in a crystalline solid, we assume that these particles are hard spheres which are of identical size. These spheres are packed in such a way that they occupy the maximum available space and there is minimum empty space and thus the crystal has maximum density. This is why we call this close packing. Now let us understand about the close packing in one dimension. Here each sphere touches two neighboring spheres and thus the coordination number for each sphere is two. Now the two dimensional close packed structure can be generated by stacking the rows of close packed spheres. This can be done in two different ways. Firstly, the second row may be placed in contact with the first one such that the spheres of the second row are exactly above those of the first row. The spheres of the two rows are aligned horizontally as well as vertically. If we call this row as A type, the second row being exactly the same as the first one is also of A type. Here, each sphere is in contact with four of its neighbors and thus the two-dimensional coordination number is four. Now, if the spheres of these four immediate neighboring spheres are joined, a square is formed. Hence, this packing is called square close packing in two dimensions. The second row can also be placed above the first one in a staggered manner such that its spheres fit in the depressions of the first row. If the first row is called A type, then the one in the second row is different and it may be called B type. When the third row is placed adjacent to the second in a staggered manner, its spheres are aligned with those of the first layer. So therefore, this layer is also of A type. The spheres of the similarly placed fourth row will align with those of the second row. Hence, this arrangement is of AB, AB type. As we can see, in this arrangement there is less free space and this packing is more efficient than the square close packing. Each sphere is in contact with six of its neighbors and the two-dimensional coordination number is six. The centers of these six spheres are at the corners of the regular hexagon and hence this packing is called two-dimensional hexagonal close packing. Now when we talk about the close packing in three dimensions, the close pack structures are obtained by stacking two-dimensional layers one above the other. Starting from the square close pack layer, the second layer and all further layers will be built up such that they are horizontally as well as vertically aligned with each other. Hence, if we call the first layer as A type, the lattice generated will be AAA type. However, as we have seen, a more efficient packing is given by hexagonal close packing. So here, if we take a two-dimensional hexagonal close pack layer A and on it we place a similar layer above such that the spheres of the second layer are placed in the depressions of the first layer. Here the spheres of the two layers are aligned differently. We can call the second layer as B. It can be observed that not all the triangular voids of the first layer are covered by the spheres of the second layer. Wherever a sphere of the second layer is above the void of the first layer or vice versa, a tetrahedral void is formed. These voids are called tetrahedral voids because of the tetrahedron which is formed when the centers of the four spheres are joined. Also, at other places, the triangular voids in the second layer 
are above the triangular voids in the first layer and the triangular shapes of these do not overlap. One of them has the apex of the triangle pointing upwards and the other downwards. Such voids are surrounded by six spheres and are called octahedral voids. These voids or holes in crystals are called are also called interstices. It should be noted that the number of these types of voids depend on the number of closed pack spheres. Suppose the number of closed pack spheres is equal to n. Then the number of octahedral voids generated is equal to n and the number of tetrahedral voids generated is equal to twice n. Now, when the third layer is placed over the second layer, there are two possibilities. Firstly, by covering the tetrahedral voids. The tetrahedral voids of the second layer may be covered by the spheres of the third layer. In this case, the spheres of the third layer are exactly aligned with those of the first layer. Thus, the pattern of spheres is repeated in alternate layers. This pattern is often written as ABAB pattern. This structure is called hexagonal close pack or HCP structure. This sort of arrangement is found in atoms of many metals like magnesium, molybdenum, beryllium, and zinc. The third layer may be placed above the second layer in a manner such that its spheres cover the octahedral voids. When placed in this manner, the spheres of the third layer are not aligned with those of either the first or the second layer. This arrangement is called C-type. Only when the fourth layer is placed, its spheres are aligned with those of the first layer. This pattern of layers is often written as ABC-ABC pattern. This structure is called cubic close pack or CCP or face-centered cubic FCC structure. Metals such as copper, gold, nickel, aluminium and silver crystallize in this structure. Both these types of close packing are highly efficient and 74% space in the crystal is filled. In either of them, each sphere is in contact with 12 spheres. Thus, the coordination number is 12 in either of these two structures.